Good morning. Welcome to Live with Lucky. Happy Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. It is the last day of November and tomorrow will be December. Good morning, Miss Collins. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm very excited about December starting. I love chilly weather. It's very excited. Exciting to have a new month. These months have been flying by. Well, scholars, we're so happy to see you on this Tuesday chilly morning. Let's go ahead and have everybody stand up. Stand it up, stand it up, stand it up. And let's say our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. And now for our Shamrock Pledge. Say it with me. We are the scholars of Shamrock Gardens. We are dedicated, committed, and focused. We prepare for greatness by doing our best every day. We cooperate with our classmates, teachers, and staff. We respect ourselves and all people. We know that hard work is the key to success. There are no limits to how far we can go. We dream big, believe, and achieve. We will graduate from high school and be college and career ready. We will succeed. We will succeed. Let's take a look at lunch today. Lunchtime, lunchtime. It is Tuesday, November 30th. We are having chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. All right, so we have chicken nuggets. You can choose the yogurt bag, the hummus bag, the wow butter sandwich, or the veggie pinwheel. You are also um, having an artisanal roll with your chicken nuggets today. And the two veggies you can choose from are sweet potato waffle fries or the veggie slushy. Um, Which is amazing, by the way. You've tried the veggie fl- slushy? I haven't had it yet. It's It tastes like fruit. It's amazing. Oh, I have to read that one. Check it out. That's yeah, awesome. You have a big variety of fruits today. It's fresh grapes, strawberry applesauce, apple crisps, strawberry craisins, raisins, or the tropical flavor raisettes. All right, so enjoy your chicken nuggets and all those varieties of fruits today. Uh, Just a quick reminder about those new library hours that started yesterday. I know Ms. Mott was very excited to get scholars in the library checking out books. So teachers, um, just please be reminded that there are only two passes per class and um, Students should not be sent down after 8.05. So thank you for everyone who tried that out yesterday. All right. Uh, we've got our 21-day reading challenge going on Woo-hoo! still. What's going so on? We have like Collins? 10 days left. So you got 10 more days to get in 21 days of reading with your bookmarks. And remember, we have lots of fun things to raffle off, like a jersey from the Charlotte Hornets. Oh my goodness. Basketball, like some awesome things. So you yes. better get on it. Yes, make sure you get your signatures and you are reading, reading, reading. Awesome. Thank you. Well, it is Tuesday, so it's Character Talk Tuesday. And we have um, discussed a lot of different character traits that you would expect to see in our student code of conduct. So some of those traits we've talked about so far are respect responsibility, honesty, caring. And this week we are gonna talk about justice and fairness and what that looks like in a school. Um, So we have two graphics here to kind of show you what what is justice and fairness? What is fairness here? Um, So Ms. Collins, tell me about what what these graphics mean to you. So Ms. Califf, when you're looking at these three people watching the baseball game, what do you notice about the first picture? Mm, It says equality. Oh, it says equality, equal. Well, I noticed they all have a box and it's the same size. Um, I noticed that this man can see the game really well. Mm -hmm. This little boy can can see it okay he's he's got just his little chin over the edge he can see it fine and um this little one can't see it at all he's just staring at the fence so then you if you look on the right side the picture with equity then they're all able to see the game right just making sure that the little boy in the middle or girl 
um, has a box to sit on, so he's able to stand a little bit better. And the one on the left or on the right, the last one, has two boxes, so they're all able to see and yeah. have equity, and all be able to see the game equal. And this guy, he didn't even need a box, so they didn't. I know they took his box away because he had plenty of space to see. Yep, absolutely. So this is everybody having the same thing. Everyone is equal. And that's not really great for all these people, but this is everyone having what they need and they can all enjoy the baseball game. I like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. And um, I noticed something here in this picture with the tree. Both of these, these little ones want to pick apples. It looks like it's from the giving tree. They both want to pick some apples, but this part of the tree is a little lower to the ground. So he only needs a shorter ladder. Mm -hmm. this part of the tree is a little higher up and he so he needs a taller ladder but they're both getting what they need to pick an apple at the same time so they have equity they're they don't have an equal size ladder but they're equitable because they can both get an apple i like that. absolutely all right do you want to read this little quote we have sure fair isn't everybody getting the same thing fair is everybody getting what they need in order to be successful and as you know, we just talked about, we wanted everyone to be successful here at Shamrock. So we want fair. Yeah, fairness is everyone getting what they need. And so we hope these two, these pictures kind of show that to you that not everyone is gonna get the same thing to get what they need. Absolutely. Um, and so let's look at how can we show this at SGE? What are some ways that we can show justice and fairness at SGE? We can always play by the rules all the time and be a good sport, um, include others in games and activities, don't leave people out. That includes maybe if someone is not um, typically in your friends group, maybe inviting them to play with you so you can be friends with them as well. Understanding that being fair doesn't always mean the same treatment in every circumstance. For example, you may have an earlier bedtime than your older brother but you're both getting the amount of sleep that you need every night. So everyone has sleep patterns differently and learns differently. And we just have to um, be accommodating to everyone and be fair to everyone. So they all have equal chances. Um, to yeah, have having what they time. need. I love yeah. that. We do a great job at, at Shamrock of making sure all scholars get what they need. So I hope that um, scholars, you will think about that. Today, I hope you'll think about justice and fairness and how you can show that um, playing by the rules, being a good sport today, um, understanding when your teacher maybe does something for one student and they don't do it for you, that it doesn't mean that you're not being treated fairly. It means that everyone's getting what they need to be successful. Well, Ms. Collins, Absolutely. thank you so much for joining us on the show today. I know. I can't wait. Tomorrow's going to be Wednesday already. I the, know. This the week's, week's flying, by. flying by. Just like the months, the whole year. I know. My goodness. Well, we hope you all have a fabulous day of teaching and learning, and we'll see you tomorrow on Live, Live with Lucky. Lucky.